Uh, good morning, friends. Uh, Gumbre sir again. Uh, uh, we'll continue with the topic uh, respiration, circulation. We are discussing second part circulation. Today, uh, lecture we'll discuss uh, pumping and working of uh, human heart. Quick revision, we'll take uh, what we discussed uh, last lecture. We studied uh, human heart in detail. Uh, regarding the location, we see human heart is present in the thoracic uh, cavity in between the lungs uh, and the one which is present uh, little bit towards the left hand side this is normal type of heart called media sternum in nature even we discuss uh, covering of the heart called pericardium even we'll have wall uh, special wall and the one which is made up of a special cardiac uh, muscle we discuss uh, regarding the internal structure of the heart we said human heart is made up of four chamber and the one which is made up of specialized muscle called cardiac muscle. Uh, few more points we discussed related with the heart regarding the upper chamber they are called as auricle, we also call atria. Lower chambers are called as ventricle and what all internal structures are there that we discuss in detail. What I told you to remember is the walls present in the heart. So we'll enlist which all different walls are there. Number one, we start with uh, the uh, right atrium where we have type of a wall called eustachian wall. Then we'll have a thebaian wall at the opening of coronary artery. Then we'll have the tricuspid wall. Then we'll have bicuspid wall. Cuspid wall, I told you, they are with a triangular flap. Three flap, that is called tricuspid wall. And bicuspid wall which is also called mitral wall. Then we will have semilunar wall at the opening of a volta. And this is something about uh, human heart. Few more points we want to discuss uh, related with the human heart. Today we will discuss uh, the important topic of uh, the pumping and working of a human heart. What is pumping of human heart? See here I am showing a, a diagram with uh, animation. The human heart shows uh, pumping. Uh, it is a pumping organ uh, of a circulatory system and the action is brought about by a rhythmic contraction and relaxation of a special muscle we call cardiac muscle. We also call it as heart muscle. Now here I am showing this uh, upper chamber they are called atria, lower chamber they are called a ventricle. You can see here how the atria are showing contraction. Then we have a contraction of ventricle. And then we'll have a relaxation of all these things. This will complete one cycle. We are going to study what this cycle is called as. But remember, contraction is called as systole and relaxation is called as diastole. I'll repeat, contraction of a heart is called as systole and relaxation of a heart is called as diastole. Next important and a few terms we'll study related with this contraction relaxation. One uh, single uh, systole followed by one diastole that will make one heart beat. Here you can see contraction of auricle, contraction of ventricle and relaxation that will produce one beat. This is called a one heart beat. Single contraction, single uh, systole followed by single relaxation diastole that will make one heart beat. And how many times we all know in a normal uh, healthy person taking the rest uh, heart will show 70 to 72 times uh, beating per minute uh, and this is called as normal uh, heart rate. Again anything less anything excess will be problem that we'll discuss. But remember a normal uh, person taking the rest heart will beat 70 to 72 times uh, and this is called a heart rate. During each uh, heart beat uh, ventricle will pump certain amount of blood. How much it is? 70 ml of blood it will pump. Maybe in aborta. And this is called as stroke volume. I will repeat during each uh, contraction of a ventricle, uh, the heart will pump 70 ml of blood and this is called a stroke volume. It means heart will pump 70 ml that is stroke volume multiplied by 72 heart rate if it takes normal uh, 5040 ml of blood approximately 5 liters of blood per minute. Repeat, heart will pump 
5 liters of blood per minute and this is called as output. Do you remember how much quantity of blood we said is present in our body? Yes, it is 5 liter. So, whole blood will be circulated through the heart within, within a minute and this is called as cardiac output. So, we will have three terms here. One contraction, one relaxation, this is called as a heartbeat. The 70 to 72 times per minute, this is called a heart rate. 70 ml blood that is pumped, this is called a stroke volume. And 5 liters of blood will be pumped by the heart in one minute, this is called as cardiac output. Important topic I said we want to discuss. This is conducting tissue of a heart. Remember, human heart is myogenic in nature. Again, we will make the concept clear what is myogenic and other one called a neurogenic. Lower animal like insects and some crustaceans will have neurogenic heart. Neuro means nervous system. The heart contraction relaxation will be controlled by nervous system brain. Say for example. Uh, heart will not contract on its own. This is called neurogenic heart. I told you this is present in certain crustacean and insect. But human being, higher animal, uh, including human being, will have myogenic heart. Myo means uh, the muscle. And the one which is uh, generating the uh, contraction relaxation independent of a nervous system. So our heart will keep on doing contraction relaxation independent of a nervous system, independent of a brain. Ultimate control is with the brain, remember. But a contraction relaxation will be brought about by specialized muscles present in the brain, uh, sorry, in the uh, heart. And this is called myogenic type of heart. Um, even our heart is aterythmic in nature that will generate uh, that will generate own rhythm by the specialized muscle. And the specialized muscle or specialized muscles are called cardiac musculature, the one which is also called a nodal tissue. It is all distributed all over the heart. And this nodal tissue or the one which will bring contraction relaxation will be of a four type. We will discuss one by one. Number one SA node, number two is AV node. Number three, bundle of fees, and number four, Purkunje fiber. Remember, this SA node and AV node long form will study short forms are allowed here. Uh, this is the conducting system that I am showing in the diagram. Once again, I am giving definition system of specialized structure which will bring working of a heart, contraction, relaxation of a heart. This is called a conducting system. The one which is present in wall of a heart, this four component just now I told you. See, this is the right atrium. The below the opening of the superior vena cava will have this first component called a SA node, we call a sinoatrial node. Second component is present here at the junction of these both atria, and this is called atrioventricular node, we call AV node. Third component, the one which will start as a single one, the one which will bifurcate that will come to up to the base of the heart this is called as bundle of his and the last one the one which will start from here the one which will penetrate all over the ventricle remember all over the ventricle like this this is the section and this is called as purpune fiber so four component are there i'll repeat as a node av node bundle of his and purpune fiber individually we'll discuss uh, their detail First one is called as SA node. See here in another diagram, their action I am showing no doubt. But we want to concentrate, we want to study this SA node. Where it is located, I told you specialized mass of cardiac muscle only. It is not anything else. It is a specialized mass of a cardiac muscle only. So some of the cardiac muscle over here, they will modify. And they will be located in a right atrium at the opening of the superior vena cava. And this is called SA node, the one which will initiate the wave of uh, electrochemical impulse. So this is the one which will generate that particular wave required for the contraction relaxation. Rate will be 70 to 72 per minute. That way we will have a heart rate which is 70 to 72 beats per minute. The one which will maintain the pace between first and second contraction. See here, the one which is passing all over the way like this. Then only it is producing second impulse. So it is called as pacemaker. As it makes the pace, it is called a pacemaker. The wave generated will spread all over the atria first. 
I'm not showing here. The wave will uh, spread all over the atrial wall first. Even right atrium and even left atrium. Right atrium and the left atrium. And then uh, it will pass. Right atrium, left atrium and then it will pass to the AV node and the next part. The rate of a wave is 1 meter per second. The traveling rate is 1 meter per second. For your multiple choice question, remember it was discovered by Keith and Flack somewhere in 1970. There is something about specialized modified cardiac muscle, part of a nodal tissue. And this is called a SA node because I know a real node. Second component, again I am with the different diagram I am showing. See here, this is the component that is collecting the wave that will carry the wave to the next part. And this component I am talking about, this is called AV node. Uh, the one which is present at the junction of both atria as well as atria and ventricle. So it is called atrioventricular node. Another specialized cardiac muscle located in right atrium again and the one which is called as AV node, it will take some impulse because impulse will travel all the way from SA node to the atria first and it will take or it will collect some of the impulse and this impulse will be carried to the next part that is bundle of his. Remember this was discovered by scientist named Lewis, uh, the one which is called pace setter because AV node will set the pace for rest of the contraction of heart, uh, contraction of a ventricle. So it is called a pace setter. I'll repeat, SA node is called a pace maker and AV node is called a pace setter. Next, the third component, uh, I told you the one which will be specialized muscle fiber again, they will be situated in interventricular septum, septum present in between the ventricle. And the one which will run from top to the bottom, uh, uh, it will start as a single one, the one which will bifurcate, go to the left and right uh, uh, ventricle with the two branches, left and right uh, branches. The one which will transmit the impulse all the way received from AV node to up to the purkune fiber, next part of uh, nodal tissue. Remember the rate will be mm, many, increase many more fold here. And the rate of the wave transport will be 5 meter per second. This is something about bundle of his earlier diagram I have already shown you. The one which will start as a single, the one which will divide into the two. Last component is called purpune fiber. These are fine threads. Uh, the one which will arise from bundle of his and they will go, uh, penetrate all over the ventricle. Penetrate all over the ventricle wall. Section we discuss generally. But think of a heart like this. The one which will start from here, that will spread all over the ventricle like this. And what they will do? They will do the contraction of both ventricles simultaneously. On receiving the impulse, say for example, impulse will start from SA node that will be collected by AV node. Bundle of this will do the work of carrying the impulse only, increasing the speed. And when the impulse will reach to up to the uh, purkune fiber from base to the top that will result into the contraction of a ventricle equal will reach to the both ventricles so both ventricles will contract simultaneously that's it this is something about conducting system of uh, heart we'll have an important question on conducting system that time four component need to be explained with the help of uh, diagram SA node AV node bundle of his and purkune fiber Next part we will discuss, this is working mechanism of human heart, how the working takes place, again I will repeat, human heart uh, shows alternate contraction and relaxation, alternate contraction relaxation means one contraction will be followed by relaxation, then again contraction followed by relaxation, contraction is called a systole, relaxation is called a diastole and remember heart contraction will be alternate. In terms, atria as well as ventricle will contract alternately. First, atria will contract and then ventricle will contract. Everything will relax then. I will repeat, atria and ventricle will contract alternately, but we already discussed, ventricle will contract simultaneously. Okay. Now, this consecutive uh, systole and diastole will constitute uh, one heartbeat or one cycle that is for cardiac cycle. I will repeat. Contraction of auricle, contraction of ventricle and their relaxation 
will create one cycle. This is called a one heartbeat. How we also call it as cardiac cycle. We say 70 to 72 times per minute. And if we calculate it, it will come to one cardiac cycle completed in 0.8 second only. I repeat, one cardiac cycle will be completed less than one second, 0.8 second only. On an average, we say 72 beats uh, are completed in one minute in adult when the person is taking the rest, person is healthy. And the heartbeat uh, can be heard as a sound. This is called lub dub sound. So you must have heard about, we feel here that contraction relaxation. And if you check with the stethoscope, uh, then we'll have a sound that is called a lub dub sound, remember. So normal sound of a heart is called a lub dub sound. When this lub and dub sound is produced, that we are going to discuss in step. Three steps will be there. First, as I already told you, see here I am showing in the diagram. First, auricle will contract, then ventricle will contract, and then everything will relax. These are the three steps. Repeat. First step will be the atrial systole atrial contraction in short we call AS. Label I am not giving because we want to study the contraction and relaxation here. What happened during the atrial systole? Remember this auricle as well as this auricle initially when it is in a resting stage will get filled up with the blood. Respectively right atrium will get filled up with the deoxygenated blood. Left atrium will get filled up with the oxygenated blood. Here I am showing the difference in form of blue color and a red color. Okay. Both the atria will get filled up with the blood respectively when it is in a relaxed state. Now, once the auricles get filled up with the blood, that will create a pressure on the wall and then the SA node will get excited. SA node will produce the impulse and that impulse will travel all over the atria that will result into the atrial contraction we call the atrial systole. So both the atria will contract simultaneously. How long this will take place? Atrial systole will last for 0.1 second. So we want to divide that 0.8 into the three steps. So remember here atrial systole will be for 0.1 second only. So the moment SA node will produce the impulse that will travel all over the atria atria will uh, contract and that will uh, that will be 4.1 second only remember what will happen we'll discuss the blood flow again the deoxygenated blood from here will be given to the right ventricle oxygenated blood from this uh, auricle left auricle will be given into the left ventricle that time this bicuspid and tricuspid wall will open that time the semilunar wall will be closed. You can see in this particular diagram. Remember, uh, normal condition I told you atria will systole for 0.1 second only. That way, remaining uh, time they will remain in a diastolic situation 0.7 second. Next step will be the ventricular uh, systole ventricular contraction. I told you the wave will all the way travel from AV node, AV node will collect some of the wave that will travel all the way to the bundle of peace and Purkune final, finally. What happened here, the, as the impulse reaches from down to the up, ventricle will get contract simultaneously. And now what will happen here, if the ventricles are contracting, deoxygenated blood will be given with this pul pulmonary uh, artery to the lungs. The oxygenated blood will be given with the help of aorta to the all body parts here. That time, this tricuspid and bicuspid wall will be closed. This is something about the flow. Remember, this cuspid walls close and that will create that first sound called a lub sound, remember. How long the ventricular systole or ventricular contraction lasts? This will last for 0.3 seconds only. I'll repeat, auricular or atrial uh, contraction will last for 0.1 second, ventricular systole will last for 0.3 second, how many are remaining now? 0.4 second and that will be for joint diastole. So remember, both atria and ventricle now relax and this step is called as joint diastole. When all the chambers of the heart are in a diastolic situation. The condition is called a diastole, a complete diastole, a complete relaxation. And how many time, how much time it will take? It will take another 0.4 second 
or joint diastole. So one auricular contraction, 0.1 second, one ventricular contraction, 0.3 second, and all will relax, 0.4 second. That will complete one cycle, and this is called as cardiac cycle. Okay, this is something about uh, the working of a heart. Two more uh, calculation that I'm again giving. Say, for example, uh, heartbeat 70 ml, uh, blood we already said stroke volume. Cardiac output we calculate by this method, and that will come to the five liters. We'll have mathematical type of question here. The person, this 70 ml of a cardiac output is very normal, very standard, and that might not be. So the calculation will be asked depending upon uh, different heartbeat and different stroke volume to calculate cardiac output. That's it. This is something about working of a heart. A test I am giving again uh, that you can read and you can answer the question. Say for example, uh, uh, multiple choice question that I am giving. Interauricular septimal oval depression called as a dash and a remnant of embryonic aperture is called as a dash. You can answer in the comment section. That's it. This is something about today's topic. Quick revision we take uh, what we studied today. We started with the pumping organ uh, of uh, heart. Uh, how the heart shows uh, contraction and relaxation. Different volumes uh, we discuss. Different volumes we discuss. Different volumes we discuss. And then we discuss conducting system of human heart. Okay, so we discuss a conducting system of human heart. We say conducting system uh, is present within the heart only. Our heart is myogenic uh, in uh, nature. Neurogenic heart, I told you, it is present in insects and some other animal. Uh, myogenic heart is uh, the one which will bring contraction relaxation on its own. So you must have heard about a situation, uh, some person suffer with uh, coma situation, remember, where there is complete damage to the brain, still the heart if it is working, person cannot be called dead, uh, biologically person is say, dead, but due to the myogenic nature of heart, the contraction relaxation is there and person is said to be alive. The person need to be on uh, those uh, uh, ventilation, ventilator, etc. Uh, conducting system will have four component, uh, SA node, AV node, bundle of his and purkune fiber. How the contraction relaxation takes place that we discuss in detail. Next topic, uh, here we complete the study related with the heart. Any question you can ask at any time. Uh, next topic we will discuss and that will be the different blood vessels. Uh, we know we have a three types of blood vessel but uh, uh, more we will concentrate on their histology rather than the routine point. Okay, we will stop here. We will continue with the blood vessel next lecture.